What's up, hunger people? Welcome to the Starving Chef's Kitchen. Today, we are going to be making mushroom spinach puffs. They require only a few ingredients and come together in no time at all. And the best part, they can be eaten as a snack, appetizer, or side dish. We'll start by melting butter until it gets brown and frothy. Then add in some chopped mushrooms and finely diced sweet onions. Next, add in minced garlic and stir it into the mushrooms and onions. Once the mushrooms have released most of the moisture, the onions are starting to caramelize and the garlic is fragrant, stir in some cream cheese. The cream cheese is totally optional if you're looking for a healthier alternative, but it does add an extra layer of savory flavor to the final dish. Finally, add in the spinach. It's going to feel like you have too much in the pan, but keep gently stirring until the spinach has wilted and cooked down. Now it probably feels like there's not enough, but don't worry, there is going to be more than enough for topping our puffs. If you are cooking the filling, let some puff pastry thaw on your countertop. Remove the parchment and unfold the pastry dough. Next, we're going to use a rolling pin to roll out the dough until it is in an even layer. Then we're going to use a circle cookie cutter. You can also use the top of a glass or a small bowl to cut circles out of the dough. Remove the excess dough from around the circles. You can actually roll this dough out again and cut out more circles if you want later. I then used a pinch of shredded mozzarella on the tops of my puff pastry circles to act as a sort of glue to help hold the spinach and mushroom topping on. Then use a spoon to measure out enough topping for each of the pastry circles. Try not to overload the pastry dough. You just wanna cover up the top, but don't necessarily pile it on. Then sprinkle on some Gruyere cheese to help bind it all together, and then pop it into the oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 190 degrees Celsius, for about 15 to 20 minutes. Check it at around the 10 to 12 minute mark to make sure that the cheese isn't burning and that the puffs are evenly cooked around the edges. These puff pastries smell absolutely incredible while they're cooking. When they are done, the Gruyere will be melted and turning golden brown, and the puff pastry will be puffed up around the edges. You can eat these mushroom spinach puffs warm or at room temperature. They even make a great late night snack to eat right out of the refrigerator. What food do you think I should cook next? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you like this recipe and subscribe for a new recipe every week. You can find the step-by-step -step instructions for this dish and many others on my blog, thestarvingchefblog.com. I hope you all enjoy, and I'll talk to you soon.